Konami's stocks soar after reacquiring the rights to Ash Blossom, the musical. Welcome to another video. Today we are back testing out Umi Sword Soul on the ladder, and I'm going to show off why Umi Sword Soul is the best and how you can get infinite banishes with an Umi Sword Soul. So we're starting out with the Moyi. Now, yes, we do have the fish sonar. We could get the jellyfish, but sometimes it's better to save your fish sonar for later. So we're going to save it. Save it for later. We're going to just do normal Sword Soul plays going first. Grandmaster. Going to let us draw a card with the Moyi. Uh, opponent hitting. This is actually quite smart. Opponent didn't get greedy. Hit the Moyi with the Imperm. Because a lot of the time, Tenyi, Sword Soul Tenyi, has a quick play spell, and the quick play spell dodges, uh, targets the Moyi, some of the Tenyi from the deck, and your Imperm will do nothing. So uh, by Imperming the Grandmaster, they um, kind of effectively either make us lose our negate because we tribute the Grandmaster or uh, deny our search. So pretty pretty smart play here. <clears throat> I would still say most of the time you're you're better off just gunning for the Moyi, but uh, you know, I, I still think it was a smart move. Fish Stone are going to activate here. Opponent has the Ash Blossom. Uh, going to stop us from getting that search. And so we're just going to end with Blacko and the Grandmaster, which is not the best, but, you know, it's it's something. Better than nothing. Opponent firing off a double Cyclone, popping our back row and their set spell, which is a Gear Town. This is some spice. I haven't seen this since Duel Links. It's going to summon an Ancient Gear Monster from the deck. We are going to Ash Blossom that. Get negated opponent. No summoning from the deck for you. You just went negative two for no reason. Opponent firing off Lightning Storm. All right. It is a top deck war, but we got some already sweet cards in the hand. Let's draw Jellyfish is here. Now, Jellyfish we're going to hold for later. Opponent firing off Max C. <laughs> Taking advantage of our Shuna. So we were going to do some uh, spicy little plays here. Link off. Uh, summon our Tenyi Shaman. Discard a card. Target a worm in the graveyard. Special summon it. Get back the Moe, do our wombo combo, but um, with opponent hitting us with the uh, uh, max C, we're gonna we're gonna not do that. Let's just summon the Ashuna, hit opponent for 60, and pass the turn. No need to summon Jellyfish. Let's just just stay stay calm, stay collected. Opponent summoning that Ancient Gear Wyvern. Wyvern getting the Ancient Gear box. Box revealing to get that Ancient Gear frame to the hand. They are going to battle. They are hitting our Shuna, and they are passing the turn. Oh, just kidding. They're Ancient Gear Fusioning. The Ancient Gear Fusion into the Howitzer. All right, now this card has a lot of words on it. And the first word is unaffected by other cards' effects, which is problematic. And then if it's destroyed, they get to special summon an Ancient Gear monster from their deck, ignoring the summoning conditions. So we don't want either of those... Uh, we don't want this to, to live, and we don't want them to summon an Ancient Gear from the deck, so we got to figure out a way to get around that. All right, so I'm going to draw here. Draw on the Enclasia is pretty sweet. Get a free summon, get to do the Mo Yi play, as is tradition. Get that Sword Soul Taya. Taya. Get the token. Summon the Baxia, and this is me forgetting. I'm like, okay, can't destroy by battle. Uh, let's try shuffling into the deck, forgetting that the first word on it is unaffected by card effects. Uh, you know what? This was just this was just for we just for fun. All right, this is fine. We're gonna send another Moyi to the graveyard since I banished one, and we're gonna just pop the Baxia, summon the Moyi. See, I meant to do this. It's a perfect, perfect play. Let's get that Shathana out there, or sorry, reveal the Shathana. Get that Grandmaster out there. Get searching. Get drawn. And how are we gonna clear this? We got ways. All right, now we got the, now we got the strategist, and let's fire off the emergence. Emergence get Protos, and if you're playing Sword Soul, Protos is the best card in Sword Soul. Ban in the TCG for a reason. It's just completely ruthless. Baron is here, but we don't even need Baron because Protos is going to be our best friend. We're going to Protos name Earth. Opponent will not be allowed to summon from the deck an Earth Ancient Gear monster. Let's get in. Summon denied, and that is lethal damage. But where are our infinite banishes? And you're thinking, where, where's my infinite banishes? Well, opponent stopped us. But next time, we will get the infinite banishes. I will show you. Stick around. Let's go on to the next game. If you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. We'll have more watery content in the future. All right. Now, opponent 
is going first, and they are playing Trap Tricks. Now, we have an Ash Blossom to stop their first search, but Trap Tricks usually just sets uh, three to five back row. So we're just going to have to let that happen. We don't have much to stop them. And you're starting to see some of the sneaky ways we have to do our infinite banishes opponent. Passing us. All right. Let's start with the Ecclesia. Ecclesia. Special summons. Searches the deck for the Moyi. And we do have a bit of a problem, all right? We can't normal summon the Moyi because we don't have anything to reveal. We kind of needed that Ecclesia to reveal the, to reveal the Moyi in the hand with our Moyi. Uh, to get our plays going, so no Mo Yi for us. But luckily, we do have some Umi cards. So let's get searching. Fish Sonar, get the Umi Dragon. Jellyfish, go to battle. And why am I going to battle, right? It's because I'm worried about nonsense. I'm worried about my Jellyfish getting negated. And if it gets negated before I clear the Sarah, then opponent's going to have the Sarah and they're going to get more searches. Unfortunately, opponent has the Traptic Colchilla, which is going to trigger the Sarah in the battle phase before it gets popped. So they got their Sarah, they get summoned in the vas Vasiculo. And there we go. Activate the Jellyfish main phase 2, opponent solemn strikes, Jelly is negated and destroyed. And it looks like we're done for, except we got the Sea Stealth attack. Jellyfish, you all know this, but Jellyfish, when you activate it, the send Umi from your hand deck or face up field to the graveyard is a cost. So it goes even if Jelly gets negated. So now, Sea Stealth is alive, and this is step 1 of your infinite negate combo. You get your Sea Stealth, you get your Pacifus, and you're halfway there. Opponent summoning the Sarah. Summoning a Traptrix Diana. Dianea. Traptrix won the uh, card sleeve contest, by the way. We got some, a lot of Yugi news, actually. We'll, we'll show you the combo. We'll talk about Yugi news while we're waiting for opponent to finish. Traptrix won the, uh, the reward for getting a card sleeve. I think it was Traptrix Sarah, actually, that won. Uh, so you have to name a specific card. So Traptrix Sarah won the contest. So they're going to be giving us sleeves. And we're, their token is protecting. Opponent not even bothering to attack. Into our token. Token too thick. Um, Alright, now. It is time. Let Jelly. Opponent trying to activate a trap from the deck. Jelly. We got an Umi on the field. Jelly negate. No hole effect for you. Hole denied. Floodgate trap hole is not happening. Now. Opponent. Traptrix Searing setting, does not matter. Jelly, activate, and now we summon the My Girl Mo Yi. Could have summoned the Umi Dragon, but we got better plans. My Girl Mo Yi, reveal the Phantasm Dragon we added to the hand with our Fan Pacifist Phantasm field spell. That's right, the synergies, all right? It searches for a worm you can reveal with your Girl Mo, Mo Yi. Let's go into the Grandmaster. Grandmaster, get searching. Mo Yi, get drawn. Pony can't do anything to stop it. Get the Emergence to the hand, and we get the Strategist, of course. Well, let's fire off that Strategist, and here it is. Opponent activating Holchula. That's not going to do anything. We're safe. Here is the Infinite Banishes. Strategist Long Yen. Opponent. You're done, you're done. You're done, opponent, you're done. They're banishing our Grandmaster. That does not matter. Supreme Sovereign Che Ying with the Sea Stealth Attack. Every turn... We can activate Sea Stealth Attack, banish a water monster we control. That is going to trigger the Supreme Sovereign, banish a card from the field, banish a card from the graveyard. We can do it every turn for the rest of the game. Infinite Sea Stealth Attack, infinite triggers on the Chungus. And you know what? We don't even need to do it this turn because we got the Swords of Emergence. Let's just search for a Protos. Protos name Earth. Deny opponent's entire deck. And uh, hit him with some... Get, get them with the banish. Get the, some banishes right there. Just name Earth with the Sword Soul. Get in for big damage. An opponent knows their whole chilla days are over. Trap tricks getting messed up by Sword Souls. They may have a sleeve. But we got the game. Let's go on to the next one. Stick around to the end. We'll have some spicy replays sent in by our my beloved audience members. All of you. If you want to send in a replay, instructions in the description. Opponent is playing Sword Soul 2. We're going second see who's got the better sword soul deck and you got to watch out all right all right Yu-Gi-Oh some things happen there was a tournament on the weekend and one of the biggest names in Yu-Gi-Oh team Samurai Sam Samurai Sam in the finals he gets hit with the triple tactics talent and in response he says god damn and you know what he gets for that a game loss apparently Konami not um, not willing to let you say those 
extremely offensive things. I'm sorry I didn't, I should censor it, but I, I'm too lazy to go back and censor it. Um, I'm sorry for saying such offensive things, but you know, um, someone's sensibilities really could have been hurt. All right, just remember, all right, always be safe. Use safe words. Say gosh damn. <laughs> maybe, I don't even know if that, maybe Konami would ban you for that. You know what, just don't speak, be silent. All right, <laughs> we got opponent hitting us with the maxi, that's fair. You know, we hit them with maxi, um, so they're gonna hit us with maxi. That's, that's just fair. That's just fair and balanced. What are we gonna do in this situation? Fishuda. Summon. Link off into the Tenyi. Give an opponent uh, two cards. Let's bounce that Grandmaster. And we saw opponent has the double pop. Alright, that's why we did this. Alright, we know opponent has the Sword Soul Blackout. One of these set cards is Blackout. So if they have a worm on the field and we have two cards, they can pop. But if we only have one card, Blackout, not activatable. We have to have two cards. So that's how we played around it. Now, can't really do too much else unless we want to give opponent a billion cards. We're going to Pacifist. We're going to Jellyfish Normal Summon. Try to special our Migro Moe push for lethal, but opponent's going to negate with the Imperm. We know this is a blackout, so we're just going to we're just going to pass. We're going to not let opponent have more cards. We're going to set our Imperm in the blackout column. We're going to hit opponent for some a little bit of damage, just a little bit, just a little bit off the top, and we'll see what they can do. All right. Swords are very powerful. We got one negate, we got one imperm, and we got our Pacifus. Opponent. Trying to Ecclesia, we're gonna negate that. Ecclesia negated. We got another negate for the Migro Moe. Pacifus gonna give us a token. Pacifus gonna give us the Phantasm Spiral Dragon. Opponent with a Fusion Destiny. Very interesting. Alright, usually this is the last thing you do because once you activate this, you're locked into dark hero monsters. An opponent is playing Sword Soul, so they aren't playing a lot of other dark hero monsters in their deck other than the DPE. I love me the DPE. DPE, very amazing card once per turn popping. Getting in, hitting our jelly. We got the Imperm. Opponent, gonna activate to pop itself and pop a card on field. Now, I'm gonna save the Imperm here. I could activate it in the gate, but uh, likely opponent is just gonna pop our Imperm if they don't pop the Imperm then we got the Imperm to negate on the next turn, which is better. So let's let them let him do it. Opponent pops that Imperm. DP is going to come back. The Ecclesia is going to go back to the hand because a Fusion Monster went to the graveyard. So very good synergies here with the Sword Souls. All right. DP is back. So how do we clear? We got to clear DPE. We got to get lethal damage. And we got to get, get through these two back row. One of them is Blackout, which is dead. They don't have any, any Worms. And one of them is Unknown card. And they got four cards in the hand, which means Hand Trap City. All right. Let's fire off this Fishuda opponent. Activating to pop in response. We got it. We got it out of the way. Now, it's time to My Girl Moe. My Girl Reveal, the Spiral Dragon. Synchro into the Dragate, because we don't know what opponent's back row is. But now that we have Dragate, whatever it is, we can negate. Opponent all the way down to low, low life points. Uh, we're gonna let this go. Now, I've been assuming this is Blackout. This whole time I've been like, this is Blackout, this is Blackout. But what if it's not Blackout? What if it's a Mirror Force? So we're gonna let this go. We're gonna keep our Dragite. We're gonna keep our Dragite Negate. We're gonna let Opponent banish our Migro Moe. And now we're gonna Strategist. Discard, Synchro Summon. Hit Opponent for lethal. Opponent knows it's over. Sword Souls wins versus Sword Soul. When you're playing Umi Sword Soul, that's how you do it. Let's go on to the next game. Ultimate Censorship, Konami, and their banned words. YouTube will let me say goddamn without getting banned. So I'm gonna say it all over, over and over. Opponent is doing some nonsense here, Utopia, into a hyper rank up magic. Now, I've seen this before, and someone told me that it's possible to interrupt this if you can activate a card. But maybe this is a different, slightly different variant of the combo. All right, but they're just gonna summon this Utopia. They're gonna get the Numeron Dragon, and it's gonna baboost itself all the way up to 13,000 attack. All right, it's 13,000 attack, but they can't attack, they went first. Uh, so what's opponent gonna do? They're going to, in the standby phase, activate this Mystic Walk Tribute a monster 
and gain life points equal to its defense. Um, and then they're going to activate this Utopia, detach, special summon, a number monster. And uh, I thought that there was a way to stop this by activating an effect, so we could have activated this Maxi to stop, but I never really saw the window where it was possible. So you let me know um, how to do it if it's possible, because I, I don't actually know. Uh, maybe this effect misses the timing or something. It doesn't seem to. Opponent's going to gain 1,300 life, and uh, we die in our standby phase before we have the opportunity to do anything. Not ideal. I guess I could have fired off that Maxi. Maybe I could have drawn an Imperm. That would have been the smart thing to do. But um, sometimes your opponents, they just got it. And you got to give them a goddamn. Let's go on to the next game. On to the next game. We got some more Umi Sword Souling. Protos is so good. Got the uh, Foil Protos. That nice little lucky pull. The Shooter. It's going to summon itself. We're going to summon our Jellyfish. With the Pacific on field, that is a negate. But instead of a negate, I'm going to just make the self Kragen. In my experience, pop beats negate. That's just how I feel. All right, that's just my opinion. Stealth Kragen also has a bit of recursion. When it dies, we get the Kragen spawns. A opponent firing off a maxi in response to our token. That is an interesting choice. They're going to draw one card here. We're going to get our token, and we're going to get a Pacifist Dragon. Everything seems to be going well so far. Slash draw. Opponent milling. Uh, one, two, three, four cards. They get to draw a card, and then they get to shuffle or like put cards back from the graveyard equal to the number they sent. But it doesn't have to be the same cards they sent. So opponent gets to shuffle back their other nonsense and keep all these. Uh, what, what even are these? Burning Abyss cards in their graveyard. Very clever. I have never seen anyone use slash draw this way. It uh, only really works if your opponent is going first because they have to have stuff on the field for slash draw to do anything at all. So opponent playing a go second deck. Let's see what Burning Abyss can do. Opponent. Uh, targeting our, the Stealth Dragon to banish it until the next turn. And negating the effect of the Tenu Spirit Vashuda. So neither of these things really do anything. Although they did clear our pop. So pop is gone. Vashuda negated. Not going to be doing anything. Opponent with the monster slots. Uh, that is some interesting nonsense and here it is Dante Dante the burning abyss was a very strong card at one point and is that one point still today no well, opponent fusion summoning Dante opponents got Dante they got Dante they're hitting our monsters we got nothing left what are we gonna do what are we gonna do we're gonna have to draw because I don't think Protos can get summoned yet Protos needs three different attributes in the graveyard and we only have two we got dark we got normal and we got nothing else. So we got a top deck. We do have the Stealth Kragen though. Stealth Kragen is here. All right, that is the best possible thing I could draw. Sword Soul Emergence. Search for that Taya. Taya gets summoned, but first we're gonna get popping. Opponent. What are you gonna do with your interaction here? Discard a card. Draw a card. Get pop Dante. Farfa in the graveyard gonna activate the other one activating also so this is their interruption this is burning abyss they get back the the sir the farfa banishes the south kragen very fun fact about south kragen all right most exes detach material to activate south kragen does not south kragen just activates once per turn forever let's tie up banish the sword soul emergence summon the baxia Send to the graveyard the Migro Moi. Spin opponents two monsters back in the deck. Uh, except we can't spin this Dante. Why is that? All right. It's because it can't be targeted by card effects. So Baxia, what are you doing today? You, you keep just getting stopped. Baxia gets stopped by Jank. Let's summon that Migro Moi from the graveyard. Reveal the Phantasm Dragon. Opponent knows we have it. Synchro into the Grandmaster. Grandmaster. Is going to search. My girl is going to draw. Everything is going for Sword Soul. Everything's coming up Sword Soul right now. Strategist is here. Let's discard the Phantasm Spiral Dragon, which is just a worm. It's just a worm we can discard. Go into the Chungus. Summon that Protoss Banishing three cards. Trigger the Chungus. Banish from field. Banish from graveyard. 
That is lethal damage with Sword Soul against Burning Abyss. Good job, Sword Soul. Such a fun deck. Perfect deck for new players, perfect deck for players who just want to have fun games and don't want to hurt their brains trying to do link combos with uh, the silly fire snake eyes. Let's go on to the next game. On to the next game. We got Maxi, we got Ecclesia, we got some Tanyis. Let's get summoning. Migro Moyi. Reveal the worm from the hand. And this combo is just so fast. It's so efficient. All right, a lot of combos in Yu-Gi-Oh are very long. But this one, it's just quick, all right? It's quick and satisfying. You do your draw, you do your search, you summon with the tokens. The token technology. I feel Konami really underuses tokens. We could be having a lot more Ecker types use tokens and prevent a lot of searching from the deck. Searching from the deck is, especially in paper, it takes a long time. And in, in you know normal turn of Yu-Gi-Oh, if you have to search three or four times, that's like a 10 minute turn. We got a uh, Sinister Sovereign. And I always tell people this, all right? I always say, why don't, why, don't you, why don't I make Sinister Sovereign, all right? It's because of this, this happens. You summon him, he gets Regekied. Slaps opponent for uh, 1,200 for the privilege of getting Regeki. And now we got nothing. Regeki wipes the field. If this was a big Chungus, he would still live. The Chungus would live. If it was a Baron, we could have negated that Regeki opponent playing Egyptian Gods. And now I know I'm playing against a full Chad, maximum Chad, so we gotta be extreme careful. Let's summon this Vashuda in defense mode, of course. Summon Ash. Summon that Baron. Get poppin'. Let's pop that back row. It is a soul crossing. All right, we are. if we ever summon uh, three monsters, we're in, in extreme trouble. And also, um, yeah, uh, they can summon tribute monsters we control. So if they summon two monsters, they can use their divine crossing. We're getting mirror forced. I, I don't know how, but whenever opponent has a set card, it's always mirror force. Force negate that with the Baron, meaning Baron now is useless. Baron does nothing. Hit opponent for 3,000. And at, at the very least, we can use Baron. Effect in the standby phase. Resummon a monster from the graveyard. Now, sadly, uh, the best thing to summon is the Ecclesia. I think for some reason, I can't summon uh, the Sinister Sovereign. One of the, one of the cards in the graveyard just wouldn't let me summon it. So, if you know why, you let me know. Is it Baron? I thought Baron could summon anything with his effect, but maybe... Uh, Maybe Bronze Effect says you can only summon certain things. Oh, level 9 or lower, that's why. You can't summon it because it's level 10. You know, in my defense, I can't count. Opponent. Well, we weren't paying attention. They activated Millennium Revelation. That is going to discard a card. Add the Monster Reborn. And that card they discarded is the Winged Dragon of Ra. And this card says you can special summon wing the, the Egyptian Gods with Monster Reborn. So opponent sent into the graveyard, firing off that monster reborn. And I'm sorry to say this opponent, but we're going to call by the grave. No chicken for you. If you want to play the chicken, you got to play Ice Jades. That's the way. The way to play Egyptian God Ra is with Ice Jades, and then you can't get fingered. Chicken never gets fingered when I play Ice Jade Gods, because you never send your god to the graveyard. Opponent, looks like your turn is done. Ecclesia, get Ecclesia. Summon that Sword Soltaya. Banish the Moyi. Re activate. Just clear this so we can attack. And this is already lethal damage. Opponent is done. You gotta make sure to read this card we bounced. It says monsters that were summoned this turn can't attack the turn they're summoned. Except Egyptian God Ra. Looks like we got the Sea Stealth attack. And the uh, Big Chungus is coming. Where's Big Chungus? We got the Sword Soul Emergence. Uh, opponent's not going to wait to see it. All right, well, we were going to win, but even if somehow opponent had, like, Karibo and fogged us, we got the infinite banishes with the Sea Stealth attack and the big Chungus. Love to see it. Let's do one more game. One final game here. I forgot to put my beautiful field up, but it's all good. We don't need it. Peasant field is good enough for now. Let's start Tenying. Monk of the Tenying. Summon that Vishuda. Activate the effect of the Ashuna. So if you ever have two level 7 tennies, keep this play in mind, all right? Gotta have one of them being Ashuna, though. Activate Ashuna. Summon the level 1 Synchro or Tuner at Hara from the deck. 
go into the Grandmaster, Grandmaster search for the My Girl Mo Yi, but we don't have a worm in the hand to reveal. Or do we? Activate Adhara, send that Ashuna back to the hand, and we didn't even use our normal summon, so we can do full My Girl Mo Yi play right now. Let's get the Ocean Dragon Lord. Let's tribute summon the Ocean Dragon Lord, because I'm just going to get greedy, all right? Why Ocean Dra Why Why do the My Girl Mo Yi play? We already got the Grandmaster. Let's summon that Ocean Dragon Lord. Search for the Umi, and now opponent is waterlocked. We got Negate, we got Waterlock. Opponent, what can you do? Oh, opponent. They are playing Pressured Planet. This is probably Cash Tiras, but we'll have to see. All right, Negate with the Ash. Deny the Cash Tira. Get ourselves a token. Token gonna activate and give us the Phantasm Spiral Dragon. Opponent again, that Cash Tira Fenrir. I don't know how, this card is at one. Opponent had the Pressure Planet, which I think is also at one, to search their Cash Tier Fenrir. And then they, we negated, but they just had the Fenrir in hand anyway. This is just pro Yu-Gi-Oh. We're gonna negate the Fenrir. Negate the effect of search, also negates it for the rest of the turn, meaning it can't banish a monster on the field. Uh, yep, nope, denied. A opponent has Tier Limit Rhino Heart. This is Tier Limit Cash Tira. Or maybe it's just Tier Limits and opponent had one copy of Pressure Planet to search for their Cash Tira's Fenrir. Or their Cash Tira Tier Limit. All right, opponent sends the Havnus. Fusion summons, but opponent forgets that they are locked into waters. Opponent is Umi locked. So if they'd gone to battle, cleared the Ocean Dragonlord first, then uh, they wouldn't have been forced to make the Mud Dragon. But sadly for opponent, all the tier limits that they want to summon right now, Kikalos or Kaleido, um, they are both dark. And you can't summon tier limits Rukulos without the Kikalos. So opponent, their cash tier Fenrir denied them from summoning the monster they wanted. Opponent is sad. They finally clear their floodgate. But it is already too late. The damage has been done. It is time to teach them a lesson. Let's fire off the strategist. Opponent negating with a crime. But this was bait. I don't even care. Negate me all day. Strategist get negated. No worries at all. Let's my girl. My girl. Reveal the Ashuna. Uh, opponent. Uh, activating Cash Tira Fenrir to banish. Activating the Mood Dragon. That's fine. We, I'm not even going to stop that. Let's activate the Vishuda now that we control a token. Um, that was a mistake. I wanted to bounce the Mood Dragon back to the extra, but it is not targetable. Oops. All right, it's fine. We just got to win this turn. Let's summon this Draco Berserker. Draw a card for the privilege. Oh, if only I had been able to summon the Big Chungus. We'd have our infinite banishes with the Sea Stealth attack. Attack, pop the Fenrir, but boost the attack. Pop the Mood Dragon. Opponent, you got nothing. Do you even have something to search for with this pressured planet? Well, let's not find out. Let's Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom negate. Opponent, you got one card left. Let's hope it's not a Tierlman's Rhino Heart. Fire off the Sea Stealth attack in case opponent has a Feather Duster. Now we have our token to protect. An opponent doesn't want to see it. They got no more plays. The Berserker is too thick. An opponent is done. Beautiful. Umi Dragon does it again. Let's go on to the Sinker Swims. All right, here, before we go on to Sinker Swims, I forgot. Here is the Umi Sword Soul deck list updated for the latest shenanigans. All right, let's check it out. Spiral Dragon, Adhara, 2 Max C, Triple Ash Blossom. We got Sathana, we got Moi at three, which is uh, free, undismantleable now. Because uh, if you get your Sword Soul deck, your Moi's at three, you get for free all three. Very sweet. We got Triple Taya, and again, Ecclesia also given for free. Triple Jellyfish. Where's our Ocean Dragon Lord structure deck, Konami? We got Triple Strategist Longin, we got two Vishudas, we got the Ashuna, we got Protoss, which Konami, I don't know why they forgot to include in the structure deck. They don't want uh, new players having a sweet floodgate that locks their opponents out of the game. Like, what's wrong with what Konami? What's wrong with the uh, Protoss? All right, you can craft your own Protoss, I guess. Triple Emergence. We got two Fish Stoners. We got two Pacifus. We got the Call by the Grave at two. We got Tubble Imperm. We got the Swords of Blackout and the Sea Stealth Attack in the extra. Yazi, Baxia, Draco Berserker, Dragate, 
double Grandmaster. We got the Baron. Uh, and I think Konami gives you one Grandmaster or two Grandmasters. We'll have to check. We'll have to check. Sword Soul, uh, Grandmaster. Sword Soul. Sword Soul. You can tell I'm a very fast typer. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Konami gives you one. They give you one Grandmaster and one Supreme Sovereign in the structured deck. So, um, yeah, you know, that's I guess that's somewhat generous. It is functional with just two, but okay, you're going to want the second one. All right, we got Baron. We got the Big Chungus. We got the Sinister Sovereign. We got Stealth Kragen. We got two Kragen Spawns. We got the Monk at two and the Shaman. Thanks so much for watching. Let's go on to Sink or Swims. All right, on to Sink or Swim. This duel was sent to us by the Atheist. And, ooh, looks like we're playing Deep Sea Diva. Now, um, you actually sent me like 10 replays and you didn't tell me which one to do, so I just picked one at random. Deep Sea Diva getting Ash Blossom. This makes me so sad. All right, but you sent me this replay, so I believe in you. Um, are we gonna Monster Reborn the Ash Blossom to do some sort of wombo combo? Looks like we're setting Waking the Dragon. What does this do? If this card leaves the field, Special summon a monster from your deck or extra deck. That is some spice. All right, we are trying to debate the opponent into popping our set back row. Opponent. We got Deep Sea Diva versus the world. Opponent has nothing. Love to see it. When opponent bricks and you live the dream, have the second Deep Sea Diva. No Ash Blossom this time. It's Prince. Oh, it's Dragoons. And getting the Poseidra. You're, you're living the dream. All right, this is one of my favorite decks. Molen Glacia. This is much better on turn one, but... We're going to do it anyway. Summon that Tatsunoko. Use a card in the hand. Summon that Jameer Ajarine. And now we can make him discard two. Discard two opponent. Hit that evenly matched. Hit that Millennium Revelation opponent. is playing Divine Beast Gods. And there is the Metal Reflect Slime. Going to block the Deep Sea Diva. But Jameer Ajarine can banish. In response, banish the Metal Reflect Slime. Diva will not be stopped. Get in for 200, play around Gors. That's right, Mullen Glacia next, and then the Gamir Adrian. That's why you play around Gors. Opponent, please pop the Waking the Dragon. Do it. I, I want to see this. I want to live the dream. Yes. What do we summon? What do we summon with Waking the Dragon? What is our ultimate boss? Opponent did not let us summon it. I am so upset by this. All right. You got to message me, all right? You tell me what it was you were going to summon because I am. I feel completely denied by opponent not letting that monster get summoned from the deck so upsetting all right well was this the sink or was this the swim check the description to vote we have one more duel and let's see which one is the winner all right on to the sink or swim number two neptune is back with pure goaties and we got some spicy text we got the midnight ruka and we got tenny spirit shathana and the title, which is the newest spice in Goaties. I, I run triple title in Goaties. I think it's amazing. And watch this. We're sending... Ooh. Oh, this is extra spicy. Title being used to send Super Ancient Deep Sea King to the graveyard so we can go into the XE. Level 4 or rank 4 Dugara summon from the graveyard the Deep Sea King. This is extra spice. This is not just Goaties. This is fish combo. Summon our four fish. Now you saw someone try to do this before in a drunk duel. This is not a drunk duel. This is a professional. Croco Dragon is here. Get the Droll and Lock Bird. Coral Dragon is here. And we're synchroing the Coral Dragon and the Tuna into the Monoceros, letting us draw an additional card. This is two cards. We're, we're plus two. This is quite impressive. All right. Super Ancient Deep Sea King is here. I love to see the combos you guys come up with the Deep Sea King. Are right, we're discarding two to pop the Dugaris. That does not feel like that's the best possible combo, but let's just believe. Coral Anemone is here. We're shuffling our stuff back into the deck, drawing a card. We're discarding and we're doing it again. Tuna, Paces, Paces, Zep, Lifeless Leafish, Arian Post, Banish. Banish the Snopios. Snopios, Banish card from Graveyard. Banish the Paces. Synchro Summon. The Dragite giving us a Spell Trap Negate. Very nice. Ariampo is going to banish a fish to search. Get us the Eonoch. We're going to Marinsa's Coral Anemone summon the Paces. 
haste is banished to summon Eonok. That's going to search for a... Oh, it's going to resummon a banished Goaty. And we're going to go into the Gamir Age Arena. Okay. And now we're going to activate Banish a Fish, add the Goaty spell. All right, so we got the Goaty Cosmos. So this is our, our fish combo that... That's still very interesting. Like, we did all that. All right, we got the Goaty Cosmos. We got Spell Trap Negate. We got Banish. We got Protect Our Field. And we got our two Goaties coming back, which means we can do, go into the Banish with the Azkan and go into the Deep Beyond. So that is all with uh, the ability to summon your uh, Super Ancient Deep Sea King. And because we discarded two to pop, I think this, this deck is built in such a way that if you just summon the Deep Sea King, you can do this combo. So very spicy. I love this. We would have been plus two still. Goaty Cosmos is here. Summoning the paces. Wait, hold on a second. Why did we activate that? Why did we activate Goaty Cosmos? Uh, apply these sequences equal to number of banished fists. Your fish can't be destroyed by battle this turn. Four plus activation and effect of fish monsters can't be negated. So we did this just to stop our fish being negated. I feel like you could have saved this, but hey, what do I know? What do I know? Opponent. Trap tricksing. Like that drunk duel where the guy. If you, if you watch my last video. Check out my last video. Someone used Goaty Cosmos with 8 plus synchros to synchro at Deep Beyond. It was beautiful. It was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in my life. Alright. Azkan is here. Banishing the Sarah. We're getting back our deep uh, our Snopios here. Everything is going going hot for the Goaties. And we'll see if Trap Tricks with their special Trap Trick sleeve can do anything to stop us. Banish the fish. Get back the fish. Opponent sets four back row, and it's Jover. Deep beyond, banish everything. You banish it all, an opponent can't handle it. I love that. When you when they set five back row, you banish it all with deep beyond, and they just scoop. Oh, it's the best feeling in the world. Thank you, Neptune, for sending this replay. Vote in the comments what you think was the better sink or swim, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.